How's it going guys? Welcome back to another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Wi-Fi battle. Today we have another battle with the Brute Barnett team and hopefully it goes well. If you want to try the team out, use the code at the top right corner of the screen. There's also a copy and paste of the team in the description down below. Please like and subscribe for more videos like this one. And with that being said, let's jump into the team preview. Okay, today we're battling versus Roderick, also known as Milford Meanswell in the Discord server. Go ahead and join the Discord server. It's the best place to go for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Wi-Fi battles. I can't stress that enough. Looking at the team, though, they've got the Noivern as well. They've got a Gengar. Leafeon's nice to see. Sandy Shock's got the uh, Tiggly Buff over there. And the Bull, the Fire Bull, Tauros, whatever you want to call it. I don't know. Looking at this matchup, they probably need with the Sandy Shocks because we don't have a ground type. Um, so I'm thinking of leading with Tyranitar and going straight for the Stealth Rocks. We can eat up an Earth Power. It shouldn't be a problem. So let's go ahead and do that. And they're normally choice locked as well. So it's going to be even better if we do that. And the battle begins. So Roderick over there is going to lead off with the Scream Tail. As we led off with the T-Tar. So this is not the worst situation in the world. Um, more than likely going to see screens from this thing or Stealth Rocks. Um, probably the Stealth Rocks first. So I'm going to go for my own Stealth Rocks real quick. I don't think they can really touch us though. They go for a Sunny Day. Interesting. So they're setting up for the Leafeon. That makes sense. But we're going to get the Stealth Rocks up. And um, they're also setting up for themselves with the Protosynthesis. Because that's going to boost their special defense. And um, we go for the Stealth Rocks. Get them up on our side of the field. Absolutely amazing for us. Um, I'm really curious as to what this thing is going to do. So I'm going to go for a Thunder Wave first. And just see what it's going to do first. They go for a Dazzling Gleam. Not going to do too much to our special defensive T-Tar. As we go for a Thunder Wave. Uh, <laughs> essentially crippling the Jigglypuff. I'm going to call it Jigglypuff. I don't care if it's called Screamtail. Right? Screamtail. Whatever you want to call it. So we get them left over his recovery. Which is going to recover most of that damage we took from this thing. Um, we could go for a Stone Edge or a Crunch here. But I'm more inclined to switch out into my Ferretris. No, because Ferretris is just going to force them out. It's a waste of a red card. It's a waste of a red card, to be honest with you. So, looking at my team, my best switch here is probably be my own Tiggly buff, right? Now, I think the best thing to do is to attack this thing. So, I'm going to go for a Crunch. As we go for the Crunch, we do outspeed. It's going to do minimal damage. Um, they go for a Wish, which is absolutely fine. And um, what that means for us is that they're either going to switch out here into something to take the crunch. Or they're going to stay in and do something else. So I'm going to assume that they're going to switch out into the Leafeon right now. Um, and I'm going to go hard into... Uh, no, do I go hard into Neuven here? I don't think we do, do we? Don't know. That's, that's a bad play. That's a bad play. Let's just stay in with T-Tar and go for a... Uh, let's go for another Thunder Wave expecting them to switch here. So they do withdraw Screamtail. Cool. Are we going to see a Leafeon switch? If we do see a Leafeon switch and we just caught it with a Thunder Wave, that'd be great. They go Sandy Sharks. Sandy Sharks is unfortunate to see. Um, because we went for a Thunder Wave. <laughs> I really didn't think they would go Sandy Sharks there. But hey, hell, here we are. Um, so Sandy Sharks is going to boost their special attack. And we're going to go for Thunder Wave. It's not going to work, of course. Um, we really need to switch out here. Because this Sandy Sharks is just... It's just going to kill us. It's going gonna, it's gonna to destroy us, alright? It's going to destroy us going to destroy us so let's go expecting any attack at all because they're all going to hurt like a, be a beach we're going to have to go for Etris and get that red card off Sandy Shocks matches up really well against our team as well which is the, the crying shame right now so we'll go into Etris and force it out um, hopefully they aren't um, choice locked I, well I don't, I, I don't know whether they're choice locked but um, based on that damage, I'd say it's not Specs, because Specs plus the Protosynthesis would have definitely, uh, well, took us down to Sturdy, and um, that's for sure. So they're going to get forced back out into the Leafeon, which is great for us, um, because it means we can go for a Spikes if we want to do that, because they haven't got a Hazard Clearer on the team. So if we can get a Spikes up, that'd be absolutely amazing. They're going to Trash Light, so they are going to be Terra Fire, I'm guessing, um, which is going to destroy our Ferretris' life, but it's absolutely fine absolutely fine so they're gonna terrify her. love to see terrify leaf yarn love to see it as uh, the terror blast is gonna come through and they're gonna be able to get the KO on the four no problems there there, there was no way Fretris was living that to be fair maybe I should have switched out there I don't know I don't know to be honest with you I really don't know and um, I don't know what to do against this leaf yarn to be honest with you so I think I do know what to do I think we go Dr I think we go the Gyarados option I think we go Gyarados option. Because Gyarados is a good... Like, right now, Gyarados is good, looking good right now against their team. It looks really good. 
So I'm going to go for a Dragon Dance and get the Dragon Dance up. They're going to go for a Bullet Seed. That's going to hurt a little bit, but not too much. Are they loaded dice? Are they loaded dice? If they're loaded dice, that's hilarious. Bullet Seed's going to come through again. Hit four times. They've got to be loaded dice, right? So we go for a D-Dance, which is just great. Just great. Are they Heat Rock on their Tingly Buff? Their Scream Tail? Are they Heat Rock? I think they must be because the sun's lasting. So if we expect another one of those, do we terrestrialize so we can take less damage from it and go for an EQ? I think we do, right? Yeah, we do. We, we do do that. We do do that. So we're going to terrestrialize ourselves real quick. There we go. Nice and powerful into a pure flying type. So we're going to take less damage from the bullet seed, which is great and ideal. Absolutely great and ideal. Um, we could have in theory gone for another Dragon Dance here, but... You know, it's whatever. It's whatever. So they go for a copycat. Which is going to copycat their Dragon Dance. Oh no, that is a mad play. Copycat Leafeon, ladies and gentlemen. That actually puts in the work for them. So we go for the EQ. Is it going to get the KO? It is going to get the KO. So that was a pointless copycat. As Leafeon's going to go down. So that's absolutely amazing for us. Absolutely amazing for us. So Leafeon goes down. We don't have to get swept by Leafeon, which is great. Sunlight is going to fade as well, which is amazing. In comes the Tauros. So Tauros comes in. It's going to get the Intimidate off and all that stuff. Um, is it Intimidate? It's not Intimidate. We go for a Terror Blast here, right? They go for a Raging Bull. Nearly gets the KO. How do they outspeed us? Are they Choice Scarfed? They must be Choice Scarfed. As Gyarados is going to be able to get off another Terror Blast, and that should definitely KO the Raging Bull. Oh, wow. So that nearly KO'd us with the Raging Bull. Nearly KO'd us. Choice Scarf Tauros nearly KO'd us with Raging Bull. In comes Scream Tail. Scream Tail's a good one here. So we have to go for a Terror Blast because it's a it's dual stab now. Well, it's like two times instead of 1.5 times. So we go for the Terror Blast. We'll get some damage off on this Scream Tail and hopefully we can get the KO. I don't think it KOs though. I feel like they barely live. But I feel like they get paralyzed. They barely live. They go for a Dazzling Gleam. That's going to KO us, unfortunately. So there we go. The Gyarados goes down. But it did good. It did real good. Did really good here. Did extremely good. So, we're in a better position now. We can easily go for our Screamtail of our own and KO this thing with Dazzling Gleam. I think I'm going to do that. Just because Screamtail is going to be doing the, less, the least amount of work here. Um, so we're going to our own Screamtail. We can go for the Dazzling Gleam to KO if we want to. We don't want to let them get the sun up. As much as I would love to go for a Light Screen here, I just want to go for the Dazzling Gleam to get the uh, KO on the Screamtail. There we go, Dazzling Gleam comes through. That's going to KO their Scream Tail, which is absolutely fine by me. Absolutely fine by me. In comes Noivern. So Noivern's a good one. Now, is it going to be Frisk? It's Frisk. Right, that's good. And the reason it's good is because it means it's not Infiltrator, which means it can't hit behind the screens. Um, so we'll go for a Light Screen real quick. They go for a Defog. I didn't know Noivern got Defog. That's pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. So there we go. Noivern got Defog. So let's go for a Light Screen real quick. There we go. And looking at their team, that's the only one we need, really. So we'll just go for a Dazzling Gleam here and get some damage off on this thing. So they go for a Defog again. Oh, God, I forgot about Light Screen being defogged away. <laughs> that's amazing. So we'll go for a, a lovely Dazzling Gleam right now. We'll go for another Dazzling Gleam. Screw it. Why not? They're going to go for a Roost. All right, so this Noivern's just annoying now. This Noivern's just annoying now. We go for a Dazzling Gleam again. Does more damage this time, which is great. Half tempted to go into my own Noivern. Half tempted to just go into Tyranitar. I'm going to go Tyranitar. I think Tyranitar is the better play here. So we'll go Titar real quick. There we go. Into Bangidus. There we go. Get the Sand Stream up, which is great. We are specially defensive as well. So we're going to be able to take any hit this Noivern wants to throw at us. Um, the whole team's special. So I think Titar kind of 1v1s the whole team right now. Um, but I'm going to expect them to U-turn here. No, they don't have a U-turn. Defog Roost, they'll be Draco Meteor, and they'll be either Boom Burst or Hurricane or Air Slash. So I'm going to go for... I'm going to expect the uh, Sandy Shock switch, and I'm going to go for a Crunch. They're going to go for another Defog? I'm guessing they were expecting the Stealth Rocks, but we don't outspeed here. So we go for a Crunch real quick, and that's going to do a lot of damage to the Noiva. We do get a critical hit, and we get a defense drop. So they kind of have to switch out here. I'm not sure what they were doing there. Um, they did take a while for them to pick the move, so maybe they're AFK. I don't know. They go for another Roost. Absolutely fine by me. Go for your other Roost. 
Um, I'm going to go for another crunch, which is going to do more damage now because of the defense drop as it does. Um, and we get another defense drop. Absolutely amazing. So Neuven's going to get buffed by the Sandstorm. This is a losing game. A losing game for the Neuven. So we'll go for another crunch real quick. I don't know what they're doing with this Neuven, to be honest with you. They're going to go for another Roost. I don't know why. <laughs> they're not... <laughs> not gonna work out for them as there we go the Neuven gets KO'd thanks to the two defense drops I don't know what the plan was there maybe they were just uh, trying to stall out the sandstorm probably trying to stall out the sandstorm that makes sense actually that makes more sense so in comes Sandy Shocks so Sandy Shocks is coming in and um, we can expect a, 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 an earth power here but they probably predict that so I'm gonna go into my Brute Bonnet instead there we go, going to switch out into Brute Bonnet. Brute Bonnet is max HP, and it's got fairly decent bulk, so we should be able to take an Earth Power, no problem, or a Volt Switch. I feel like they go for a Volt Switch here, though. Zap Cannon! Okay, missed. Okay, missed. That's good. That's good. So, Sandstorm did wear off. I'm going to go straight for a Seed Bomb, because it'll hurt the Gengar. They go for a Gravity. Oh, he was talking about this in call. He said he wanted to run Gravity, Zap Cannon, bloody... Sandy Sharks, which is cool. Um, so we're going to take it down to its Sash. Okay, what's going on here? I'm just going to go for a Sucker Punch right now. They're going to withdraw Sandy Sharks, which makes sense. They're going to go into the Gengar, which makes sense. Um, Stink Mina, the Rowdy. Uh, that's fair enough. It's nice and shiny as well. Look at that beauty. And uh, We go for the Sucker Punch. Obviously, it fails. Um, we don't have to worry too much anymore about... See, if I can get the, if I get the Tyranitar and go for a Stealth Rocks, it's GG. I think we do that. We go Tyranitar and get the Sandstorm up, and it's GG. I think that's the best thing to do. Because we, we don't attack here because they go for a Will-O-Wisp or something. Which is absolutely fine by me. Get your Will-O-Wisp off if you want to. Trick. Fair enough. Absolutely fair enough. Go for your trick all you want. Um, trick, we're going to trickle some choice specs. Absolutely fine. They're going to receive some leftovers, which is absolutely fine. They're going to get buffed by the sandstorm, which is absolutely fine. And they're going to get some leftovers recovery, which is absolutely fine. There's a lot of fine things going on here. A lot of fine things going on. So, we're being locked in. We could go for a crunch. I'm feeling more stealth rocks. And personally, they go for a dazzling gleam. Not going to do much damage to us at all. As uh, we go for the stealth rocks, ensuring that, that sandy shocks can't come back in. Which is great for us. Absolutely great for us. Um, so they're going to get buffed by the Sandstorm. They're not choice specs anymore, so the damage output has gone down, which is great. Um, so I'm wondering what to switch in here. I'm wondering what to switch in, because we've got to switch out Tyranitar, right? Tyranitar is going to be good for taking out the Gengar. Um, I say we just sack something off. I, I say we just sack off Brute Bonnet. <laughs> just sack off Brute Bonnet. It'll be fine. There we go. going to withdraw us, Tyranitar. And we're going to go into Brute Bonnet, because Brute Bonnet doesn't really care if it goes down right now. You go for a T-Bolt, expecting something else to come in. Uh, makes sense. Not going to do too much damage to us, though, now, as uh, we can freely go for... They probably go for a trick, right, to try and... Um, they probably go for a trick. They probably go for a trick right now. Probably. It's a big probably. So gravity returns to normal. We're going to go for a Seed Bomb, because I'm expecting them to trick us. So I'm going to go for that Seed Bomb real quick. They go for a Dazzling Gleam. We could have Sucker Punch there. Absolutely fine. I really thought they would trick there, but hey hell. As that Seed Bomb does two, is 2 KO, which is amazing. So, um... Now that we're in position... We can't attack them. I think the only way we... I think Brute Bonnet's... I think the only way we can win this matchup with Brute Bonnet is if the Sucker Punch wins. So let's go for that. They're going to withdraw? Oh, they're stalling out. Okay, they're stalling us out. That makes sense. So they're going to go into Sandy Shocks real quick, which makes sense. Sandy Shocks comes through. It's going to get absolutely annihilated by the Stealth Rocks. Makes sense. Sucker Punch is obviously going to fail. Makes sense. Makes sense. Sandstorm's going to subside, though, which means we're not going to get taken out by that, which is fine. In comes Stink Mean of the Rowdy. Once again, Stealth Rock's going to dig in, which is unfortunate for my opponent. As uh, we're going to go for a Sucker Punch again. I don't see any reason not to, because either way, we bring T-Tar in and we win, right? Sucker Punch comes through. There we go. Take out the Gengar, and that's going to be the game. So GG, Milford means well. That was a pretty fun game. That's the first time I beat you, I think. 
So pretty awesome. So yeah, uh, thank you for watching this video. If you did enjoy, of course, leave a like, subscribe, all the wonderful stuff. And with that being said, I'll see you all in a bit.